Right, my name's Lewis James, reporting from Headliners in Barker in West Leeds. How do you get young people engaged uh, with politics? What do you know about this area? There's big holes in canals. How come they never get sorted out? Why do you want to be an MP? As I was saying before, um, I want to be an MP because I want to change things. I think there are things in our area and in society that aren't fair and could be done better. Why do you want to be an MP? I think I'd be good at it. In fact, I think I'd be better than quite a lot of those who are there at the moment. I was a councillor for 16 years, so I've got a lot of experience of dealing with people's problems and of speaking to the authorities and the powers that be that are needed to help solve those problems. And I had a track record of reporting back. And I think that's what you want from an MP, somebody who finds out what the local stuff is, tries to help with the problems and reports back on what they've done. Why do you want to be an MP? Um, I don't think the question should be why I want to be MP. Um, I mean, why does anybody want to be an MP? But, I mean, the thing is, the work is not... Uh, the be I can think of better things to do uh, and better ways to spend one's time than running backwards and forwards to London all the time and on the antisocial uh, social hours that uh, you've got to put in. But the fact is, I want to make a difference. I want to make a difference for the people that I come from. How do you get young people engaged uh, with politics? Again, one of the reasons that I came along today and that I was really keen to come and see you is I think it is important that young people are listened to and that we take into account your views when making laws as well. <clears throat> uh, and I go into a lot of the, the schools as well. I think sometimes it's about language and whether young people yeah. are turned off um, by politics. I can see you're, you're nodding. Uh, sometimes I think young people, and a lot of people, but particularly young people, feel that politics isn't about them, that it's far from, removed from them, and that politicians sort of talk a different language. How will you engage young people with politics? As I say, you've got to talk, you've got to, talk to young people, um, um, as, as you have to talk with anybody else. Uh, I happen to be in a party, probably, that actually has got more young people as members than any other one has. Uh, being, if you like, probably the youngest uh, party. And a part of what we stand for is about thinking about the future. It's thinking about when you've grown up, what life's going to be like, and making sure it's, it's livable. Why can't young people vote? Well, you can vote at younger ages than, than you once could. I mean, when I was a teenager, you couldn't vote till you were 21 and you couldn't be a councillor or an MP till you were 21. Now it's been brought down to 18. The Liberal Democrats want it to be brought down to 16 because they think if you're old enough to work at 16, you should be old enough to vote. I mean, you know, you can go in the army at 16. Well, if you can be killed for your country, you should at least be able to vote for the government that sends you there. Yeah. Would you be able to get young uh, more stuff for Barker, like facilities and stuff? Well, I'd certainly be willing to work with you on that. I mean, one of the things that the council does, for example, is gives all the councillors a budget to spend in their own area. Now, unfortunately, none of your local councillors here are Liberal Democrats, so I can't go and ask them. But you could approach the councillors you've got mm. and ask if they'd be willing to spend some of their money. It's called MICE money. I don't know what the M-I-C-E stands for, but it's called MICE money, which is to spend in their own area. Um, the other thing, of course, is fundraising. I mean, if you had an event here and you thought I could be helpful mm. with you raising money, I'd be very happy to come. How can we get better things for Barker? Computer refurbishments, would you help us? I'd do what I could, yeah. Um, I mean, in, again, as I said, that's that past, partially council things, uh, but certainly um, on my own ward, that's what I've tried to do, is to get facilities and get, get uh, equipment for, for, um, for, for my constituents of your age group. And what about here at... Um Barker on the Broadlands. Like get better computers and facilities and stuff like pumps for footballs and better footballs because they're all flat. And do you play football out here as well? Yeah, up there. So you want 
better footballs and football pumps so yeah. that they don't go flat. Mm. How about you? Do you think that might motivate you better to polter, go out? And yeah, well, I go out, but there's not to do when you get out, so obviously you get in trouble with police and then... I don't know. The three people who come in, they, were, they got us interested in politics and we learned a lot. This is Lewis and Charlie reporting from Headliners, Barker, West Leeds. <laughs>